Hey you, did you choose your career because it was the right thing to do and not because it sparked joy? Well, me too. <laughs> That's how it started. Hi, I'm Rasha, a senior data analyst. I started in software engineer because it was highly in demand and it was the right thing to do. But I quickly realized it wasn't the right fit for me. So I quit. I left engineering and completely transformed my career. I switched to data analytics. Today, I'm here to show you that success isn't about the degree you hold but about harnessing your passion and developing your skills. Stay tuned as I unfold the secrets behind transforming your career path, mastering data analytics, and how you can do it too. Even if you think you started late or chose the wrong degree, let's dive in and decode the secret around becoming a data analyst. And hey, if you love data as much as I do, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to not miss out. Comment below with your biggest career questions or the change you're dreaming of. My journey started when I was at the University of Ottawa. I studied software engineer. Despite enjoying the challenges and the program, I realized that it was impacting my well-being. I gained a lot of weight and I had no social life and no me time because of the charge required to keep up with software engineering. So my first internship in software engineering was with IRCC where I was in IT help desk support for the employees. I did it for one year and I realized I did not like this. It basically consisted of installing apps, fixing outages, helping with security or any encryption issues, stuff like that. This realization led me to switch to a bachelor in commerce. The program I switched to is called Business Technology Management at uh, the Concordia University. It's a major that combines technology and business. It's also a new major. It hasn't been around for that long. It had more flexibility and opportunities, so I jumped on this opportunity. My schedule was less packed. The programming classes were way lighter, and we learned about databases, SQL, how to use uh, popular soft softwares like SAP, Tableau, Lucidchart, Figma, we also learn about different types of diagram for tech reporting, like use case, uh, UML. So we did a lot of like documenting, reporting, researching. So it was a, a different program and I actually recommend it. I really enjoyed my program and I did learn a lot. Then I secured my second and third internships at Bombardier, which is a major private jet company. This is where I was introduced to the power platforms and I fell in love. I began there as a data analyst, and then that's where I fell in love with Power BI, Power Automate. And I remember also every morning starting with like really manual tasks that I hated, like sending the same email at 9 a.m., uh, doing the same Excel report, PowerPoint report, and sending it to this team and that team. And I thought like there, there must be a way to automate all that. So I did, I decided to take on a project and I automated everything. And my manager really liked that. And he started recommending me to his colleagues because they also wanted those automation. So I started developing dashboards for other teams. And I actually made a name for myself. Um, actually to this day, I think they're still using my, my uh, dashboards and like automation that I made. Um, and I really liked it and they also offered me a full-time position. They told me to stay But since I was a student and I didn't know I thought like once you graduate it's easy to find a job I did not accept that position. I was like I need to go back to school I need to have a high GPA if I'm working a really demanding job It's gonna be hard to like keep up with my grades I should have because if you think about it now that like I worked and I know how it works if I stay there even part time and I work for three years, that's like three years of experience on my resume. Even if I graduated like recently and I'm applying for another job, all the entry level jobs are asking for like a three years experience. And also when you have those years of experience, that's where you're able to go get that like next salary bracket. So I wish I actually accepted that because also when I was done with the university, which was in June 2024, the job market in Canada is really bad and it still is. And I was applying to jobs and it wasn't as easy as I thought. I thought I was going to be offered a job right away as soon as I graduate, but that wasn't the case. So I really wish I had accepted that job, stayed there. And then when I graduate, I have a guaranteed job, a salary boost, and I will have like at least three years of experience. 
So if you have the opportunity of being asked to stay part-time in an internship, I suggest you take it. Even if you have to sacrifice a class, who cares if you graduate a year later? You still have like three, two years of experience, which is like really worth it. Anyways, I quit. Before quitting, they're like, okay, like we still need you. We need you to train those five interns to take over all your tasks. So I trained the interns and I think like they liked it. And I also realized I like like training interns. That also was something really nice. I trained them, I made document, and I realized like even teaching to people my passion, which was like the power platforms and um, Power BI and showing it to them, I like that. And I got home and I was like, I think I found my calling. I think this is it. It's crazy because I never, I didn't even know the tool. And then like, I just go home and I'm like, okay, I think I found my calling. And since then, like I've been just applying to jobs and getting jobs related to Power Platform. So yeah. <laughs> That's how I found out. When I finished university in June 2024, the job market was challenging, as I mentioned, and I was applying aggressively everywhere. So eventually, I got a job in consulting, but the problem is I was underpaid and overworked, so I did not like it. And that like gave me motivation. It was a bad thing, but it also was a good thing because the motivation that it gave me was to apply more and be like, this is not it. My life cannot just be this. Like I'm overworking, I'm underpaid. I thought like I was gonna graduate and there's gonna be a good job lined up for me, but no, that wasn't the case. At least I still had a job. Like this was better than being unemployed, um, but it was very stressful. So I was like just applying and my resume wasn't the best at first. So then I just like perfectioned my resume. I did a lot of research and after that i after i changed my resume made it super perfect added a portfolio by the way if you're interested i have a video on that that i will link below and probably have here listed here and then yeah after i fixed my resume i started getting so many interviews like i had like interviews lined up so i was doing all those interviews and at the end even even the, the job that i currently have i did an interview with them and i also had other interview lined up but I really like that company and the current place I'm working at right now. It's a crazy story because I remember walking next to their building and looking at it and being like, wow, this building is so nice. I wish I would work there. And then the next day I go and I apply and I get a, like, I get, I start getting responses. And like one of my interviews was for that job, like exactly at that building. Which was like so crazy because it was like my dream like i had it on my vision board like i put the whole building on my vision board and i'm like i deserve the job so this journey has taught me invaluable lessons but three stand out first the importance of resilience facing challenges heads on and never giving up finding solutions and keeping keep moving forward is really important second the value of continuous learning the tech field is evolving rapidly. You have to be up to date. You have to keep on learning the new technology and the new tools. Third is leveraging your network. The support and insight from colleagues and mentors have been instrumental in my growth and success. For instance, my manager at Bombardier played a huge role in my success. It's because of him that I was exposed to these business intelligence tools and was able to learn and use them. If his team, the moment I was applying, had an available spot, I would have probably ended up working for them and you know network is important you have to like build relationship and connections and have a good reputation if you, one day you want to also freelance this could be really um valuable to you thank you guys for joining me today on beyond numbers if you're contemplating a career change or feel you might have started down the wrong path remember it's never too late to redirect your journey Harness your passion, develop your skills, and don't be afraid to take the leap into something new. Every step you take is a learning opportunity and a chance to grow. If my story inspired you or sparked your interest in data analytics and career transformation, please hit the like button and subscribe. Your support helps me bring more content like this to you.
Don't forget to share this video with someone who might need that little push to make a big change. Remember, your career is your journey and you hold the map. See you in the next video where we'll dive deeper into the tools and skills that can elevate your professional life.